Tutorials on Node.js have been a common request, so this tutorial will mark the first of many tutorials on Node. It's an introductory tutorial, but even if you are already using Node, you may gain something from it. We are going to address the question, what is Node.js? Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. A lot of Node instruction jumps right into using Node, but I think a deeper understanding assists in anything you are learning. I appreciate Anthony Alicia do doing this in the course that I took from him. So in this tutorial, we are addressing what Node.js is. So first we need to talk a bit about what happens to JavaScript when we use it in a browser. So I'm going to open up Sublime and JavaScript file here. We're going to just put a little bit of code in here. Declare variable and set it equal to 10. And then we're going to increment that variable. Then we're going to grab an element from the DOM. We're going to use query select selector to do that. And that element happens to have a class of bullets. So that's what we're going to grab. And we'll place that into the LM variable. And then we'll simply put in our HTML equal to I. So very basic. So I'm going to save that. And that happens to be a JavaScript file attached to this HTML file. Now if I refresh this. We see that we're getting one. Let's see, I did something wrong. Oh, there. That's why we're getting one. Okay, so now we get an 11 there. So what is going on here? We are doing some math, and then we are putting that number inside the HTML page, which is hosted by this browser. In order to do all this, we need to work with the CPU on the computer. In this case, my computer. Now, the CPU can't understand JavaScript. The JavaScript that I wrote is not something that the CPU is capable of deciphering. So that JavaScript code needs to be converted to machine code. Now, the thing that converts JavaScript code to machine code is the JavaScript engine. Now, the browser that I'm showing right here happens to be Chrome. And so it uses the V8 engine to make that conversion. Now, the V8 engine, written by Google, processes JavaScript code. This engine, the V8 engine, was written in C++ and is open source. It can be used in a browser, but it also can be used in any other C++ program. So if you were to write a C++ program, you could incorporate the V8 engine if you chose to. Well, that is exactly what was done to create Node. Node is simply a C++ program whose purpose it is to make it so that we can use JavaScript code on a server, on a machine, a computer, without using the browser. So I want to illustrate this with a couple of images. Let me first comment this out because that will affect what we're going to show if I don't. I'm going to refresh that. Now let's take a look at the first image. So here we're representing that the JavaScript code is interpreted by the browser using the V8 engine. So the V8 engine is embedded as a part of the browser. And that converts it to machine code. And so that allows it to communicate with the computer, with the CPU. And if the CPU returns information, that can happen as well. Now, in the case of Node, very similar setup, but Node is a different application. It's not a browser application. It's an application that runs on the computer, and it incorporates a V8 engine, so it can convert JavaScript code to machine code and thereby work with the CPU. Now, the advantage of this application written in C++, this Node application, is that it extends JavaScript. It allows us to do more with JavaScript than you could 
with just the JavaScript language. Now, all right, so with that, let's take a look at a description of what Node is. So Node.js is a program written in C++ with the V8 engine embedded that has added features that make it suitable for use on a server. So the target of this application is a server and its purpose is to make JavaScript usable on a server. So what kind of things does it need to add? What kind of things does Node add? Well, it needs to be able to handle files that can't be done very easily in a browser. Well, Node needs to handle files because it's on a server. It also needs to be able to work with databases. It needs to accept requests and send responses since it's receiving requests and sending responses through the internet. It needs to be able to do that. And it needs to manage processes that take a long time. So things that we run on a server may take a lot longer. It needs to be able to manage those. So these were some of the features that were added into Node. So Node is an application with these added features. It extends what we can do with JavaScript, but it also has the V8 engine so that when we write things in JavaScript, it can be converted to machine code and thereby communicate with the CPU to accomplish what we need. So that's what Node is. Now the goal of that description is so that you have a grounding of what Node is. You, as you begin to work with it, understanding its purpose and what it is, I think, can be very helpful. Now, before we're done here, please hit that like button. It can help others on YouTube find this tutorial. And if you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I provided discount links to all my courses in the description section of this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.